Stop being a robot. Stop yeah. going to work every day, yeah. doing something you don't like. It's a repeat cycle. Weeks going by, months going by, years going by. You look back five years and I went by, you at this job you do not like, you hate going to, mm -hmm. you, you just miserable. Yo, what's going on world? It's your boy Brandon. I'm back with my co-host K Ross. Uh, back for another episode of the Bigger Dream Podcast. Um, before we do start it off, I do want to thank every single person who, you know, viewed the podcast on YouTube, who checked it out on Spotify. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. Uh, I know we both very grateful, you know what I'm saying, for you guys' support. So we're going to keep giving y'all this good content, um, getting these messages out to the world, okay? Um, yeah, man. So, Kaderis, how you doing, man? I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling blessed. Uh, shout out again to everybody that tuned in for our very first episode. Man, I feel good, man. Like, how you feeling after that first episode? Like, the first episode, it got the, it got me out my out my comfort zone, yeah. you know, a little bit more, man. I, you know, you come in there all stiff because it's your yeah. first time being or doing this, like we both mentioned on the first right. podcast. But now I just feel, I, I feel good now. Yeah, you know man, what I'm saying? I feel like, hey, I, I, I got it. I got a little swag to it. Yeah, I got a little swag on it now. Yeah. At first, you know, I was shaky. Yeah. You know, thinking too much. But, you know, we, hey, yeah. I'm feeling good this episode. It's time to get out some, put out some good stuff to, for the people. Yeah, and I mean, bro, we do this all the time already. Right. We already do this. Right. It's just the difference is now it's a camera. We're getting recorded, but hey, we've we been doing this. And a lot of you listeners out there that follow us, y'all know that we've been doing this. So we just getting this message out in the, you know, in the video content. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? I feel you. Yeah. So, yeah, man, uh, my boy K. Ross, his birthday just passed here on the 21st. Um, you know, he's 28 years old now. How, how was your birthday? Man, my birthday was awesome, man. I had a good time with the family. And my friends there, man, we had a good time, you know what I'm saying? Just just enjoyed everybody's presence. Enjoyed you know, the presence. Ate at Mika Cena, one of my favorite Mexican restaurants. And mm -hmm. Just enjoyed the food, enjoyed the laughs, just enjoyed all the talks, you know, just really just seizing that moment with the family, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, That's what it's all about, man. Enjoying life, you know what I'm saying? Especially with the family. Man. You know, especially with the family. Um, you know, on the last episode, you know, uh, we were talking about how uh, me and him, we barely watch basketball games. Right. So, low-key, we kind of country, well, we ain't contradict ourselves, but <laughs> can you tell them what happened the other day, man? Man, we, we actually went to the Mavericks game <laughs> on my birthday, you know, and we sat there and watched all four quarters of the game, you know, really tuned in, you know, hey, shout out to Kawhi, that man is truly a beast. Yeah, uh, yeah, but yeah, it was a Incredible. nice experience, man. Checking out the Mavericks, and you know we got a nice squad out here in the D now. So you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so that boy Luca, he, he even though he put on like 26 shots yesterday, right, he right, only right. made like 12 or something. I mean, yeah. I guess, but now Luca, he'll be yeah, yeah. Luka, I ain't even nice. cap. He nice. <laughs> yeah, he he kind of like me. He he hoop a little bit like me. Oh, so, you know, so. really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ball is not life for me no more, people. So. Hey. Yeah, yeah, um, but yeah, that yesterday's game that was that was a good experience. They um, did they? Now nah, they end up losing in like the final minute right. or whatever. Yeah. Um, but like he said, that that game it was it was eye opening for me. Um, because I haven't been, I don't even think I've ever been to a basketball game like an NBA type game. Um, but it was a good experience, and like the whole time that I was there, yeah. um, yeah, I was tuned in to the game. But I was more focused on like the people on like the on like the front rows, you know what I'm saying? The the court the people in the audience that was sitting courtside. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um like I the whole time I was like, I want that to be us. I want that right. to be our family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. even though yeah, I was there for the game, but I just couldn't focus because 'cause I'm like hmm. we way we we way up here. Up there. And I'm looking at somebody on the court side, I'm like that's what we that's what we supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right. like that's what we are gonna be. Like Straight I'm going and I told you this a, a long time ago. Yeah. I was like, man, say I I like, hey, we gotta take the family to an NBA. I said a Los Angeles Lakers game. As long if for LeBron, if by the time we get if LeBron ain't playing, we, we ain't gotta go to the Lakers. We we can find somewhere else. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
probably my boy Lonzo, like we were talking about last oh. podcast. <laughs> but um, I was like, man, like we need to be down. Like we deserve it to to be in that position. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure a lot of people when they go to basketball game, they don't be thinking like that. But I just couldn't focus on the game because I'm like, man, I'm I'm not where I where I'm supposed to be. Right. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? We was in the building, but you wanted to be. You know, yeah, I, close want, I want that experience. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I want I'm that. You. I want that experience. If I'm if I go to a game, man, I wanna I wanna be courtside where I can see the play, the players sweating and just yeah. everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm with you. So I like I said, I couldn't really focus on the game. Yeah. I did at certain points, um, but I was more you know just looking at the other people. Like man, I wonder what they doing to be right there because I know what we doing and I know we gonna be great and all this. Right. So I'm like, I can't wait till the day. That, you know what I'm saying, we able to take our family and everything, you know, yeah. to that and experience that as a family. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? As a, like, it's enough. Like it ain't, I mean, it ain't even enough, but it's all cool that me and you went, you know what I'm saying? It was, I enjoyed myself. Yeah, yeah. But just to have the entire family there on that front row. Got to be done. It's going to be crazy, it's gotta man. Got to be done. And hey, for me, it's, it was different because I've been on the front row, but I was brought to the front row you know who i used to roll with back in the day you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so for me to be in the stands now and have that same mindset like nah i i got to get back to that front row but do it the right way this time yeah. have my whole family there you know what i'm saying at that time it was just me and you know a couple of my partners and stuff like that but now i got that mindset like nah my whole family got to be there exactly. you know i want them to see that experience because i i had the experience but ex- experiencing it with your family, it's a whole nother ball game. Man, I believe it'll be a whole nother ball game because I can't wait till we get there. It's man. gonna be, and beautiful. we gonna get there. When, what I tell you last time, you you brought this to my attention. Yeah, let's go to the Lakers game. You know, Mav Lakers. I said, now nah, let's go out of town and, and get their experience. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah let's, we need let's, their experience. Let's right just there. fly out there to LA. That's just fly. We're gonna fly out there, man. Game. Hey, of course, out the whole family. For real, man. And we got it planned out already. We already. <laughs> it's, hey, it's it's the bigger dream. Like, you know what I'm dream. saying? Um, but yeah, just that that you that had is, the dream, and yeah. we went bigger. We went bigger. Just yeah, value, man. We just had value. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. Cause I had the dream. Yeah, let's go court side. He said, "Hey, let's fly." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Watch the game. Have the game. We can shoot back to the crib if we want to, or we can just do what we want to yeah, do. For real. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait um, till those days do come about. Right. Um, but yeah, man. Just I feel like that. Like having that our family there with us, that'll bring like a lot of happiness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I do know that, man, that's one thing that I just I wanna be happy in life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I wanna be happy. Um, I wanna enjoy life. Yeah. I want to enjoy the full experience of life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, which um and I know like <clears throat> I know you hopped off already. He full time entrepreneur. Right now yeah. I'm still at my uh full time job. <laughs> I can go into details now, <laughs> but right now I'm still in my full time job. That's another podcast. Yeah, that, that that's another <laughs> that's another podcast. But like at my job, yeah. and I'm sure you probably seen this at your job. Like yeah. people are not happy. Yeah. People are not happy at their full time jobs. At their part time jobs, they're not happy. They're only there just to make enough money to you know pay the bills. And yeah. like I feel like. I feel like work is just, well, like, just talking about my job where I'm at right now, it's like a full of, like, fake how you doings, mm. fake haze, <laughs> and all that. Because, like, people, they really don't be meaning that stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm sure you not heard this a million times. Like, people be at, at work and they be like, man, I can't wait to get off. Like, oh, it's still, it's just noon. It's just one o'clock. Yeah. It's just two o'clock. <laughs> I can't wait till Friday. Yeah. And then Friday get here. I be like, how you doing? Oh, it's Friday. You yeah, know what Friday's that means. Going down. <laughs> you know what that Don't means. Don't let it be payday. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They might even come to work if they got direct deposit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Calling in. Come on now. So it's like, man, I, I want to be happy like at my work environment. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm, and I'm not even trying to work there. I'm, I'm, We got our own stuff going on. I'm right. just there right now for the benefit. But it's like, Man, I just want to be happy outside of work, yeah. you know, while we doing what we doing. But I feel like even like people that's listening, like y'all should, you know what I'm saying, be happy at work or try to be happy. If you're not happy while you're at work, you need to find somewhere else because <laughs> I know that's draining. Yeah. I know that's giving you headaches, but you need to do something that you love to do. Right. 
Um, you got any input on that, man? Man, just being happy. For me, when I was at work, you know, if it was truly, and you know me, I'm finna go preaching mode. Go ahead, go if ahead. If it really wasn't for God, bro, if it wasn't for Jesus Christ, who is my Lord and Savior, man, like, I truly wouldn't have, I wasn't happy at my job. Okay. You know, at one point I was happy because, you know, I needed a job before our minds, did, until we evolved as men, you know what I'm saying? When we said we want to be entrepreneurs and stuff, I was, I was happy where I was at at work, you know, until we had got the business and stuff going and jumping. You know, I, then I, that's when I lost my happiness, mm -hmm. you know, because I was like, I don't belong here. Yeah. So now I just felt like I'm just here to everything get popped and all yeah. right, you know, so I'm just really just getting by this, get by, you know, doing what you said. I was hitting hitting folks with the fake good morning. Mm. You know, I don't care about seeing y'all, you know, bro. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just here, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what's you don't care about it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, come on, bro. You know, I'm like, hey, bro. I <laughs> really don't want to be here. How you feeling? I feel good. And deep down inside, I feel bad, bro. I don't even want to be here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, just really faking it. And, you know, I'm just telling the truth about myself. But when I jumped off, man, I feel like, and I, it's not like I didn't have happiness because God was blessing me. You know what I'm saying? But I just felt a difference level of happiness once i jumped off and be like hey i want to do my own thing you know what i'm saying like i want to I'm, I'm chasing my full goal my full entrepreneurship like you know i jumped out yeah and you told me you like hey you know hey you sure you want to get home said i was like hey if i had the option to go back i was like nah i'm gone man you know yeah. what i'm saying just That's jump right into it yeah. and uh, i could just say man god is truly blessed me like this is like the happiest i've been in a long time, man, you know what I'm saying? And it's a bumpy road. Yeah, it's a bumpy road. Entrepreneurship is no joke. You know what I'm saying? Hey, these waters are deep for real out here. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's not for the weak hearted. But man, God has really just shown His blessing on me because He changed me in different areas in my life. You mm. know what I'm saying? So at first, I want to say I was just so focused on the business, focus on the income. You know what I'm saying? Focus on the prize, and I wasn't looking at other areas in my life where he stored true happiness in me, you know, like, now I experience happiness without things, you, if you feel what I'm saying, yeah, like, I, 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 I experience happiness without money, I experience happiness without material things, I just truly wake up happy, like, hey, I get to work for myself, you know what I'm saying, working for the family, and man, that, that other level of happiness, I agree with you, man, I know you're trying to get there, you there, yeah. you know what I'm saying, but yeah. people need to get to that other side of happiness, the happiness that they dream of and just stop i mean if that job is tearing you down being fake at your job <laughs> leave that job man for real it's nobody told you that you had to be at that job yeah you chose that job go choose another job or pursue something that you would rather go to you know you something that you rather that do. when you say that yeah man i'm talking to you for real <laughs> you the one that's looking please go pursue that job that you want to do you know you're not just there i was just doing something just to get some paper Let's get some money in my pocket. Well, but you said you wasn't, you wasn't happy. At I one, wasn't happy. At, at one first, I, at one point, I was happy because you know I needed a job. Yeah. You know, and anybody once you've been down, you know, you finally get a job, you happy. Yeah, I'm back working. But then, you know, after, after you grow, mm -hmm. you you start looking around. You're like, okay, I want to do this. And I feel like I lost happiness, like, cause I ain't want to be here for no years and yeah. 30, 40 years. I'm not doing that. You know? Man, that's crazy because. I feel like that's a lot of people. That that's really, you said you don't really care what they be saying. That's what I'm tripping on. Uh -uh. And I'm just thinking like after the weekend, you know, um, even if like for me, I'm gonna just speak for myself. Uh -huh. If I had like a amazing weekend, like I, I did this, I did that. Uh -huh. Monday they hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Monday they be like, you know. Hey, Brandon, how, how was your weekend? Mm. Nah, it was all right. Mm. I done had the best weekend of my life. But yeah. I don't care. The like, ball down and everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't oh, care about terrible. telling yeah. you, though. Yeah, bro. But, but no, nah, man, that, that just bring me back to like, and that's something that I do need to work on. I need to work on enjoying, you know, every moment of my life. Right. Like, even when I am talking to them people and they ask me how I'm doing, I should, I should make conversation. I should be yeah. truth. I don't know what. It's just stopping me internally from yeah. telling them the truth. Like I know what it is, but that's another yeah, podcast. Yeah, that's, I guess that's another <laughs> podcast. That's another podcast. <laughs> but yeah, man, I just... And I guess since, since we're on the topic of like jobs, man, something crazy did happen at my job today, mm -hmm. but it didn't involve me. Mm -hmm. So it involved one of my coworkers. And so one of my coworkers, they, uh, they trying... 
well, they're resigning yeah. from the company. Oh, okay, say it like that. And you know how um, people put in a two weeks notice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're talking about. Mm, you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so people, people put in a two weeks notice. Yeah. So they last day was supposed to be this upcoming Friday. Today is Wednesday. It's supposed to be on Friday. Gotcha. So last week, our boss wasn't there, so they couldn't turn in their resignation form. Mm. And they and our boss haven't been there Monday or Tuesday, but our boss came today, right? Mm. So um, my coworker, they typed up their uh their resignation and everything, and um my coworker they didn't they didn't want to give it to like the other managers. Uh, they wanted right. to give it to the top manager. You know, the right. top manager came today, so um they gave it to the top manager, and our manager read it. I didn't, I wasn't there, so I didn't, you know see it yeah. but uh they told me they was like the manager was like we had uh an orientation today yeah. so the manager was like um okay well you know after orientation you know you can just leave mm -hmm. like and my coworker looking like i typed up my resume i mean not my resume my resignation last week yeah. and wanted friday to be my last day yeah. but it's kind of go both ways because the manager was like you can leave after orientation and i pay you for the rest of that day, Thursday and Friday. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, I yeah. feel that way, but just the way that, that they told it. me that it was said, I'm like, right. oh, like, they don't even value you. Oh, yeah, you can leave yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're going to replace you anyway. We're going to replace you no anyway. Yeah. So, I mean, when they told me that, I was like, because, you know, and then I looked it up. Texas is a what they call an at will state. Mm -hmm. So, like, you don't have, like, they can fire you, you know, whenever they can let you go. Like, you don't have to, like, necessarily put in a two weeks notice. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, when they told me that, I was like, bro, like, it was that easy. Like, no, like, they didn't second get there and ask, you know, why you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they just, hey, you can leave right now, really. Yeah. Like, we're going to post another job here in like 20 minutes. That's pretty much how they were saying it. Right. So when I heard that, I was like, man, these jobs, they don't care about us, man. I mean, I already knew that. Right, right. I already knew it. They, yeah. they don't care about us. These Most of these jobs, man, they ain't built with love. No, it's not. You know what I'm saying? No, it's not. They don't. You got to repeat that. They they ain't built with love, but they ain't gonna catch that though. But nah, but, they but, not. but they ain't built with love. They you know not. what I'm saying? But I know you know we gonna value our our people uh, straight up, and that's like something that we always talk about is valuing yeah. our employees, valuing ourselves, man. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like when I heard that, I was like, I don't, and I really I already didn't trust you know the job itself but that was just like the icing on the cake yeah, yeah I, I know what i'm gonna do i feel you bro because at my time uh you know I, I was telling you straight up you know i used to always joke around like but i'm not putting in no two weeks notice yeah you, you know what i'm saying and i really i, I guess i spoke into existence because i truly did not put in no two weeks notice i seen the same thing in my company as well when i was working there you know shout out to loomis yeah armor you know i was doing my thing mm -hmm. uh but yeah, I was doing, I seen the same thing. I seen cats come in there, put in eight, two weeks notice. Like, man, you be gone today. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, don't even come back tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? And they don't get paid for those extra they days. Don't. Nah, they don't get paid at Luma now. They don't get paid for those extra days. So I always told myself, man, I'm gone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. I'm not putting in no two weeks notice. Y'all don't care about me. They don't. Y'all gonna find another body. Yeah, you know, play. Hey, cause we just need this route covered. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But so. they don't even see like the value, cause man, I used to tell you all the time, like the value, like they don't, they don't recognize that. And I know you was adding a lot of bro, value. To working them. hard every day, bro. Yeah. Being on time every day because that's just me. Exactly. When I'm on time, making sure everything is done correctly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Bringing back everything. Just and for them not to value that, mm. you know. So I was like, man, you know what? Forget y'all, bro. Yeah. I'm just. I'm not gonna tell you. They call me and say, "Yeah, come on to work." I said, "No, nah, I'm gone." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not coming people. back in there. Yeah, I'm not doing that because you don't care about me or my family. You know what I'm saying? You don't care about what I'm trying to chase in life. Mm -hmm. You don't care about that. You just care about if I'm gonna be on time, if I'm gonna get the work done, and then if I forget one little thing, I'm gone anyway. You know what I'm saying? So that ain't how it should be. Nah, that ain't how it should be, and that that just ties back into what we were saying earlier. Like you doing. You, you was doing all this for that company, being on time, getting the work done, make sure everything complete. But then still internally, you wasn't even happy. Wasn't but you were still giving all that, you know what I'm saying, to that right. company. And, man, for everybody out there that's, you know, going hard for a company, you know what I'm saying, just if you if you love what you do, 
you know, continue doing cool. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like mm-hmm. continue. Like we we ain't trying to make nobody be no entrepreneur, yeah. but if you you know what I'm saying, if you don't love what you're doing, you ain't gotta you ain't gotta stay in that nah, job. Nah, you just gotta make up your mind. See, yeah. I had to get to that point where I had to make up my mind. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go chase my happiness. Yeah. You know, because I was raised to, you know, blue collar. I was raised to go get the job. You know, I feel like even though I was unhappy, I feel like I just had to keep going, you know, because it was a paycheck. You know, yeah. like, man, I don't know no other options out there. I'm not looking around. You know, I always talk about, man, I'm going to quit one day, but wasn't even looking around, you yeah. know, until, you know, the business jumped off and things like that. But I just made up in my mind, like, you know what? I'm chasing my happiness in life. And right now, I'm not happy here. Yeah. You know, yeah. And then after, you know, I feel like they pulled a disloyal move on me, even though I was loyal to be honest and have told the Boy. truth at the job, you know, and yeah. the way how things was done to me, you know, that's that's another reason why I quit. Yeah. But yeah, man, I made up in my mind. I said, man, I'm gonna be happy for the rest of my life. That'll be the last time that ever happened to me. Man, you know what I'm saying? And I just straight up quit, quit on them boys and chase my dreams. Yeah, you know, trace my goals because, Cause, man, you living your life. You, yeah, you need to chase your dream. You I need to, to live your life. You need to be your own happiness, yeah. bro. Yeah, like for real, man. We need to just don't be scared. Yeah, a lot of people scared, bro. They so? they scared, and you know, of course, you 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 fighting against a lot of people that may be around you, but mm-hmm. a lot of people scared that they don't know if it's possible. It is possible. They you don't know what's possible, but the the chase that happiness, to chase their own dreams, you know what I'm saying, to chase, because like I said, I'm happy, Yeah. you know what I'm saying, and I'm not even happy because of my business, I'm not, I'm telling God just blessed me to be happy because I truly experience his true love, but a lot of people scared to chase their dreams, like man, you was called with a purpose, yeah, everybody was, and if you, if God put that purpose on your heart, bro, it's nothing wrong with you chasing that purpose, it's nothing, and, and that vision, that dream is straight for you, Exactly. It's not for nobody. You know, when we first had got my vision and things like that, I'm telling the whole world. Yeah. I'm telling everybody. Because you, you know you was called for yeah, I was You called. feel it. It's like running through your, your bang. Like this you is feel it. it. I got a thing in my head. Yeah. Said, this is it, Lord. I'm saying no more. Let's get it done. You know, but you want to hear somebody like, yeah, you go do it. Like I said, pump you pump you up and things like that. Then when you see nobody agreeing with you, you want to bag like, out. Ah, nah, I got to just, let me just stay working real quick. And nah, and stuff it can't like be like that. Because, man, if it would have been like, and it was like that, like, for, like, we, the company that, that we made, like, I, I promise you, like, okay, we, we'll say, we, we made the company, we'll make, like, the Instagram or the Facebook mm. post about it. We'll get the likes, you know, just because it's brand new, they see it. But after that, everybody disappears. Yeah. Like, they ain't going to support you like that. And you, what you got to what you gotta fight through is, like, man, it wasn't their vision. No, it wasn't. It wasn't their vision at all. It was, it, was our, it was your vision, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You brought me on, but we made, we made yeah. it work, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, shoot, people, they... Like you said, when they have like an idea, they look for their answers in other people, yeah. you know what I'm saying, to bring it out. But they ain't gonna have the same and we talk about this all the time. They ain't gonna have the same vision as you, so they not gonna understand they it. They not. They not. But if it's clear to you in yeah. your head, man, go after that. Go for it. Go for it. I'm being scared, I'm telling you, go for it. You gonna be happy. <laughs> like you terrible at the job, you miserable. Mm. You you faking, just like we said earlier. You faking at the job, you, <laughs> you telling people good you morning. <laughs> What's up, Willie? How you doing? Hey, get up yeah. out of my face and my mind. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, bro, stop faking. Go chase, man. Go chase your dream. Don't be scared. Please. You got Please. one life to live. Yeah. And live it the right way how you would like to do it. You know what I'm saying? Be righteous at all times. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm not saying go out there and be wild and, and do all these other things like that. Hey, <laughs> like I said, be righteous. For me, like I said, I'll be righteous. I read my word. And I try to line up with the word, but I still chase my dreams. You know what I'm saying? That my it, faith is in God. Yeah, and like you say, ain't nothing wrong. It don't say nothing in the Bible where you can't, you know what I'm you saying? You can't chase your dreams. Yeah. He didn't say you can do that. He just said acknowledge him in all thy ways and he shall direct thy path. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Meaning like, Lord, is it okay for me to do this? If, you know, this was on my mind. Is it okay? He going to direct your path. Like, yeah, go for it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, But you got to wait on him and he'll tell you what to do. You know, So there's certain ways that you have to live, like, you know, but... Yeah, man, man. Go chase your dreams. Stop playing. Chase your dreams, man. <laughs> stop, stop playing with your life, man. Stop <clears throat> stop being like like a robot. Yeah. You know what I'm Ooh. saying? You <laughs> stop stop being a robot. Stop yeah. going to work every day. Yeah. Doing something you don't like. It's a repeat cycle. Weeks going by, months going by, years going by. 
You look back five years and I went by, you at this job you do not like, you hate going to, mm-hmm. you, you're just miserable. Then, you know what I'm saying, I know some jobs, they be tripping on PTO, you know what I'm saying. That was in my mind, I'm telling you, yeah. <laughs> some jobs be tripping on, but they don't even give you PTO, you got to work holidays, yeah. you know what I'm saying. So, y'all, just be happy, man. Please be happy. Chase after your dreams and your goals, man. Yeah. And I'm not even saying, like, if you want to be in the corporate America, you know, mm-hmm. I'm, we just saying be at the job that you want to be in. Yeah. You know, yeah. if you at a job where you don't want to be in, leave that job and go to that job you want to be in and be happy. Exactly. Because you know, so. I know people, they, you know, they complain, like you were saying earlier, people, they complain about the job, but yet they don't apply to other jobs, you know right. what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah. what you what you what you talking about it for? If you gonna keep doing it every yeah. single day, it's on you. Yeah. yeah, every day you go to work complaining about, oh, I hate this job. Why I gotta be here? Boom, boom. You ain't putting in no other applications. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't trying to better yourself to start your own stuff. You just so what are you talking for? Stop, yeah. stop talking. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm talking too much. Stop talking. Yeah. So, yeah, y'all. Um, just be happy, man. That's the message for the day. Happiness. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Do do what you what makes you happy. Right. You know, because I know that's what we doing. And like we said earlier, people they not gonna see your same vision. Right. We had to learn that because as much as we want everybody to see our vision, <laughs> we not we had to learn to keep our mouth closed because like we can we can put a lay a whole blueprint out for them. Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? We do this and this and this would help this and this right. and this. They they, they 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 can't see it. They don't they don't know how it's gonna happen. They don't know mm-hmm. how it's gonna all unfold. You know what I'm saying? So we just tell them just wait. We yeah, just it. just wait on it. Just wait on it. Just wait. Hey, it's the bigger dream. We see the bigger I picture. Promise you know what I'm saying? I promise you. <laughs> so uh do, before I close, man, you got anything else to say to them? To the man, people? Hey. I'm looking in your face. You know what I'm saying? Let me get this off my chest. All right. Man, go chase your happiness, man. Go 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 chase your dream. Stop playing right now. Like for real. What you doing? Hey. Right now. Go do it right (laughs) now, man. Stop playing. You playing with your life. You gonna give that job thirty years, you know what I'm saying? And you unhappy there thirty years. Stop playing with your life. Go chase your dreams. Do what makes you happy. Mm Mm-hmm. So um, before I leave, you know what I'm saying, do gotta recognize our sponsor once again. Man, shout out. Them boys. <laughs> Them <laughs> boys going crazy down there. I promise you. Man. L- Little Waste Management, LWM, they doing yeah. their thing. They are the sponsors um, of this podcast. Man. Um, <clears throat> you guys follow our Instagram. Um, it's underscore the bigger dream. YouTube is the bigger dream. Um, Spotify, the bigger dream. Okay, we're going to get our episodes here on Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts here within the next couple weeks. Um, but you guys, do check us out um, while y'all on YouTube. Uh, like the video, um, subscribe, leave us comments, man. We want to we wanna have feedback, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we ain't going to get mad at the feedback. We're going to take a look at it, and then we're going to see how we can make our videos or our, our podcast better for you guys, because... Um, you know, at the end of the day, we're doing it for y'all. We, we had the bigger dream. We was like, let us get our message out to you guys. So, um, <clears throat> if that's everything, man, hey, y'all have a good one. I hope y'all enjoyed this message, and we'll see y'all next week, all right? Yes, sir. We out.